Rhaegal lapped around Winterfell carrying the three Starks on his back. Most fires had since burned out in the past few weeks, though a few small cinders continued smoldering. John landed Rhaegal on the Godswood. It was the only place not littered with bodies. The smell of decay had subsided, probably due to the fires John had unleashed onto their home. Sansa had expected Arya to head towards the Broken Tower, but instead she approached the Great Werewood Tree. There she was gathered around a horse carcass that had not yet been burned. That's Bran's horse, said a slightly relieved Sansa. It is. Here's where he lost his leg, again. Help me with the saddle, asked Arya. The two Stark women freed the altered saddle from the horse. It's odd now, isn't it? Asked Sansa rhetorically. What is that? Asked Arya. I experienced the worst people alive, right here in our home. But it never felt like somewhere else. Now it just feels different, said Sansa, almost to herself. Like it or not, I won't ever be back here, admitted Arya as she hoisted the saddle over her shoulder. She grimaced at the pain of the burns on her back. It's still bothering you? Asked Sansa carefully. It's only been a few days, said Arya, trying to remain positive. I miss him, said Sansa, while trying to sound strong. Sandor? Asked Arya as they walked back to the dragon. He saved me so many times I lost count, said Sansa as they continued through the godswood. Me too, said Arya as she limped along carrying Bran's saddle. You? But you're a competent warrior. Whom did he save you from? Inquired Sansa. Myself. Arya responded simply. You sort of look like him now. Said Sansa, trying not to sound critical. That bad? Asked Arya with a sarcastic tone. No. Honor mostly lives in stories of voice and quill. You wear yours on the exterior. She paused and faced her young sister. Wear it well, as he did. Said Sansa trying to wear her own emotion well. John walked up the stairs to the top room of the broken tower. Pools of blood streaked the floor. John knew Theon was on the roof, and this blood was his. By the staircase, he saw Heartsbane. Thankfully, it was undamaged. John continued up the roof, and there he saw his brother. He was reduced to a charred corpse, but present. John's dragonfire ensured he would not be marching in the Night King's army. Arya joined him after a while, as did Sansa. They noticed the body at John's feet, and Sansa was overcome, though she held herself together. She walked over to the barricade and pulled a stark banner from the tower wall. She wrapped it up in her arms and walked over to John. She handed a corner to him and took a few steps backwards, unfolding the banner as she went. She bent at the knee and gently placed a stark banner over Theon's dead body. Valar de Harris, whispered Arya to herself. Minutes passed and the three stood in a silent vigil. I'll meet you at Rhaegal. In a few minutes' time, said John. He then walked through the castle, sidestepping small fires. He made his way down to the crypts. He wanted to see his mother and search for answers. He passed Eddard's grave and Rob's. He was surrounded by death, but it was all he had ever known. Death, loss, and deceit were his inheritance. Lies were his native tongue. It was the first time he truly wondered why he had been brought back to life. What purpose could he actually serve, John thought to himself. John stopped in front of Lana Stark's grave. His emotion overcame him, and he dropped to his knees. Sansa had joined him. John half expected her to. When she spoke, she did so with care. I'll never forgive myself for keeping this secret from you. She admitted. You were trying to protect the North, said John as he rose to his feet. Which is all I was trying to do, as well. John finished. You have every right to be angry with me, Sansa cried. I can't say it won't bother me later, but for now we need to stand together, John paused. I feel like it's going to get worse before it gets better, he admitted. I have my doubts about her. May I ask you something? She begged. Anything, John replied quickly. You sacrifice your own crown for your people, because your people mean more to you. Can the same be said for her? Sansa finished. John tried to choose his words carefully. Instead, he chose none. <laughs>